Hey there, it's Tracy. I am sharing my DIY Buffalo check ribbon pumpkins with you. Now, this past week, I shared on Instagram something that I made, these Buffalo check pumpkins, and I asked my followers over there if they would like to see a DIY. I shared it on Instagram as well as Facebook uh, because on YouTube, a lot of uh, the people that I follow have moved on to Christmas DIYs. So I kind of like miss the, you know, fast forward through Halloween and fall. And now we're like doing Christmas DIYs, but I don't know if I'm quite ready. Anyway, so I asked my followers over there if they would like to see a DIY tutorial. The response was unanimous. So that is what I am doing. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. Consider subscribing to my my channel if you like crafty ideas like this. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that I use. Some foam pumpkins, some chalk paint, some buffalo check ribbon, some black jute for the stem, some leaves, some Mod Podge, and then I also used a dowel to create my little curly cues for my pumpkins. Um, I'm also showing you this gingham buffalo check ribbon here because this is what I used on one of my pumpkins. I start by removing the stems of my pumpkin and then give each pumpkin two coats of chalk paint. That way you don't see any of the orange through the ribbon. And uh, just a little tip, I used a wooden skewer and I have another little piece of a styrofoam that I use for projects like this. If you stick the skewer through the bottom of the pumpkin and then you can let it dry. Um, to let my little curly cues set up, I'm just twisting them around, giving it a coat of Mod Podge on this little dowel. Then once I'm ready to do my stem, I just have this extra piece of paper and I am just gluing that around there and I'm going because I want my stem to be just a little bit thicker. I would have used something different if I had, I was thinking like a wine cork or something like that. I didn't have any of those. So um, I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, this is what I did with the other ones and it worked well. And so I'm just wrapping this black jute around the uh, paper and hot gluing it all the way around. Now I'm just figuring out how uh, long I want to cut my ribbon. Uh, I just want it to go around my pumpkin and then I just cut that and hold it up to the spool and then I'll just trim that off like that. Now for the three pumpkins, I used three different patterns of Buffalo check. Um, two of them were one and a half inch and then the larger one was two and a half inch. I like the smaller Buffalo check I found by doing this project, but you can use whatever ribbon you want. So for the one and a half inch, I used 16 pieces of ribbon and for the two and a half inch, the larger buffalo check, I used eight pieces of ribbon. To attach the ribbon, I'm going in like a counterclockwise motion. And for that first piece of ribbon, I'm just tacking it down um, just a bit. I want to, once I get to all the way around on the other side, as I glue my ribbon, I'm going to want to be able to pick up that first piece and layer the last piece underneath it. And uh, it'll make more sense as we get to it. But I'm just continuing to glue the ribbon and just kind of pleating it at the top and then also at the bottom. That way it kind of lays really nicely and it also sits nicely at the bottom. I'm gonna put a piece of felt at the bottom. Um, so I'm not really worried about if my ribbon is uh, too long or, or not long enough rather. And uh, if any of the little white of the pumpkin is showing, it's underneath it. So I'm not really gonna worry about that. So I'm just showing you here, I'm just continuing to glue the ribbon on the pumpkin and then as I get to this last little part, this is a little more tricky. 
I wanted that first piece to overlap the last piece. So I am just fiddling with that here, just trying to figure out how that is going to fit in there and look the way that I want it to look. I painted some leaves for my pumpkin. Um, the black, I did uh, two coats of chalk paint and the white, I did three coats of chalk paint. Now to finish off my uh, pumpkin, I have a piece of felt I'm just gluing to the bottom because some uh, the ribbon is wired. And so sometimes when you have those little end cuts, they're kind of pokey. So I just added a piece of felt to the bottom and uh, for my stem, um, what I did, once I hot glued the jute all the way around my stem, it kind of leaves like some film or something on it. And you know, I didn't like that uh, from the hot glue. And so I just took some black paint and just painted over it and it is all cool. Everything's good. So then now I'm just gluing my pumpkins to my, I mean my leaves to my pumpkin. And then I had already attached my little curly cues to my pumpkin. And I think they just turned out perfect. Then I just hot glue the stem to the pumpkin and uh, it just looks really pretty. I love the way that these pumpkins turned out just by using um, some Dollar Tree pumpkins and adding some Buffalo Check gingham ribbon to it. I would love to know which one is your favorite. Do you like the large Buffalo Check, the medium gingham Buffalo Check, or the smaller? plaid, buffalo check, gingham, whatever you want to call it. They call it all kind of trendy stuff now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you recreate these, please tag me on Instagram or share them with us over in my Country Charm community. It is a free community over on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up if you like crafty ideas like this. And I love to read. You all have a great day and God bless.